happy Wednesday and welcome to our channel, The Daily Deals. Today we're going to be talking about reducing waste in the kitchen. But before we talk about that, I have to address a little rumor that is going around. And I'm not really sure why it's going around, but I just wanna fill everyone in. <laughs> I am not pregnant. Brian and I are not expecting a baby right now. When Brian and I start on a fertility journey, I will be sure to fill you guys in as necessary and as appropriate. But as of right now, there is no, <laughs> there is no pregnancy, there is no baby. I'm not offended by this rumor. In fact, I'm actually like honored by the rumor. I think it's pretty nice that people care enough about us that they're excited that we would have potentially been pregnant, but we, I am not pregnant. <laughs> so if that rumor came from a photo, it's not, I'm not pregnant. I just carry all my weight in my stomach and eat a lot of foods that go straight to my stomach. <laughs> so let's go to my original topic today, reducing waste in the kitchen. This is not something that I'm an expert on, though it's just something that I do my best with. I'm not perfect at it. I don't know all of the ways to reduce waste in your kitchen. We're not doing every single possible thing that we can, but we're trying our best. I also wanna say that I'm sure there's a lot of other ways, and I'm sure that there are ways that you might be doing in your home or in your kitchen that I'm not doing. And so if you have any other ways that you think globally in your kitchen, or ways that you consciously are reducing waste and reducing the amount of trash that you produce in your kitchen, then that is something I would love for you to share. But the first thing is, we do not use these. Wait a minute, Taylor, if you don't use them, why do you have a roll of them? Well, I'll tell you why. <laughs> the main reason I have a roll of paper towels is because one day when I went to the grocery store, I have my beautiful iced mocha, and when I got out of the car, I scooped my purse up, and my purse scooped up my iced mocha and dumped it all in the seat of my car and all on the carpet of my car. So I went in and I grabbed these and cleaned it up really fast and then continued with my grocery shopping. I do usually have one roll of paper towels in the house because I have a senior citizen dog that sometimes has accidents and sometimes those accidents call for paper towels that we can just throw away. Generally speaking, we don't have more than one or two rolls of paper towels in our house at a time. When we have a spill in the kitchen, when we are wiping down counters or windexing our windows, our mirrors, we use these. These are microfiber cloths I bought in a giant pack from, I think it was Marshalls. I bought when I was home a big pack because they were a better price than what I had found on Amazon, but these are really easy to find on Amazon in big packs and multicolored packs in all one color, just whatever your preference is. I bought a pack of red and pink that I use for the kitchen, and then I have a pack of blue and green that I use upstairs and for the bathrooms. So that even though we wash them in between, generally speaking, our rags that are used for cleaning the kitchen are separate from the rags that we're using to clean like our toilets and our showers and our bathtubs. So we don't use paper towels, we just use these microfiber cloths. And I use a kitchen cleaner that I make in a glass jar. Uh, anytime that you're able to reuse something, it's great, but glass is just generally better for the environment than plastic. So I try to use this more, but instead of going out and buying new cleaning supplies all the time, I just remake it in this bottle and I make it myself. And maybe later on my channel, I will show you how I do this. It's pretty simple, but I use this instead of going and buying plastic spray bottles with lots of chemicals in it um, that I don't want in my house. So that microfiber cloths. Another thing in our house that we follow fairly strictly is we do not buy plastic water bottles, like 12 packs, 24 packs. We don't buy water bottles. We use water bottles that we have We don't use plastic water bottles. I should say, we don't use throwaway water bottles. We have a water bottle, actually, we probably have like four water bottles each that we use, that we refill, put in the fridge, and take to work with us, or take 
if we're driving somewhere, we take that with us. We do not buy packs of water bottles, crush them and throw them away because we feel that that's wasteful and that's some trash that we can cut down on. So another thing we do is we try to remember our disposable grocery bags. These guys, I love them. And you don't just have to use them for groceries, obviously, but we keep a bag filled with other disposable grocery bags in our car so that when we're at the grocery store, we try to remember to take them in. I love this tote that I got at Pike Place Market in Seattle when I went. Um, I guess that was in October. I love it because it's really big, but it folds up really small and it has a pocket on the side for fresh flowers and a pocket on the side for wine. Brian and I are planning a trip to Seattle and I'm gonna take this back with me so that we can get some fresh produce and groceries from Pikes Place Market and make a Seattle meal when we are in Seattle. One tip I will give you about these bags, actually two tips I'll give you. When we buy meat, we put the meat in a throwaway plastic bag just because of the bacteria that meat can carry. And on that same note, I also try to wipe these out about once a month or just throw them in the wash with some uh, towels or something just so they get cleaned because otherwise they can hold a lot of bacteria. I mean, they're in your shopping cart or they're in the back of your car or you might drop them on the ground or they're on the ground in your house. And anyway, they can just pick up a lot of bacteria. So we do try to wash them occasionally, but that is one way that we can cut down on a lot of waste. We try to avoid getting these. Taylor, if you try not to use plastic grocery bags, then why do you have one? Well, I'll tell you why, because I'm not a perfect person. And sometimes I forget to bring my bags in. So sometimes we do end up with these. And when we do, we save them and we use them to keep the litter box. So they don't go completely wasted. We do use them for things. And this is a new thing that I am working on. This week I got on Amazon and I bought a giant pack of these super cute, super fun pattern straws. Came with a straw cleaner right here. This is a 36 pack of straws plus a straw cleaner tool. I paid $12 for it on Amazon. So $12 gets you all these straws. This was a pretty good price that I found on it compared to some of the other packs that I had. But anyway, there's lots of fun colors. As you know, I work in a coffee hut and when I'm there, I bring my own cup, but I'll grab a straw and then that's a throwaway straw and I tend to go through more of those than I'd like to admit. So I will say that in the past, I have used straws like this and I've always kind of been a, a bigger fan of these straws than throwaway straws. But anyway, I've used these in the past and if you're not careful, they get really gross on the inside, especially if you're using them for like smoothies and milkshakes. Oh, they get really, really gross. So the fact that this came with this brush to get down in there and clean them, that was a big selling point for me because that is something that I always but look down in there and be like, oh, that's so gross, and there's no way I can get that out even if I soak it in something, so I'm just gonna throw it away. And then the whole point of using reusable straws is completely wasted. And my friend Tiana inspired me to kind of start on this because she and I were talking about how plastic straws, basically a lot of trash ends up in the ocean, and plastic straws can really hurt sea life. And so that is one thing that as a big animal lover, I just really, that was something that I kind of felt convicted that like, this is easy, I like using plastic straws, I can handle this change in my life. So we also do not use throwaway napkins. So yes, I do have this set or two of throwaway napkins that I bought for Bunko because I was having a party at my house. If we're having a party, if we're having more than like five people over, I'll buy napkins like this, I'll use napkins like this, but if we're having another couple over, or if we're having a friend or two or three or four over, or if our family is visiting and we're eating dinner here, instead of using a paper napkin or paper towels, we use our cloth napkins. And I realize that some people are like, that's a lot of work. Maybe it seems like a lot of work because it seemed like a lot of work to me when I was getting ready to make this change. It's really not that bad. So let me show you our cloth napkins. These are our Fiesta Wear napkins and they match our Fiesta Wear. 
So during the week when Brian and I are making dinners and eating together at the table, we will each have a napkin and we will use it a whole week. And then at the end of the week when I wash the towels and the washcloths and our cleaning rags and everything, these will go in with it. And we use one napkin, one cloth napkin for the whole week and we just leave it on the table. This is an easy way because it looks nicer. Like when people come over and you have cloth napkins, they're like, oh, so fancy. Like they have, they've really like pulled all the stops for us when really you're like, no, I'm just trying to help the earth and look cute doing it. Lastly, something I like to do is I like to reuse containers. So if you watched my video where I made Hercules his dog food, you might have noticed that I use a couple of Parmesan containers. I use a sour cream container. I use a little glass container that had ghee in it and we used all the ghee so we had this. I reuse, like I told you earlier, my bottle um, that I make kitchen cleaner with. I'm getting ready to do something super fun and maybe I'll film that as well but I'm getting ready to try to make my own coffee creamer so that I can customize the flavors, I can make it sugar free, I can know what's in it. I'm going to reuse the creamer bottles that we had used previously when these are actually what was in them and I'm gonna reuse them to make our very own customized, homemade coffee creamer. I don't think it's very hard, I'm excited to do it. And I was a teacher, I would take these and I would use them to put paint or glue in them. Brian and I are those type of people that like ranch on everything. So I'll buy these little ranch containers and then when we're done, I strip the label off and I use them. This has vinegar in it, so I keep these in the bathroom. You can spray some of this or squeeze some of this in the toilet and scrub out the, the toilet with the vinegar. Just any little thing, if you can figure out a way to reuse it, that's awesome. You can reuse like the little Altoids bin to keep your change in. There's just a ton of different things and a ton of different ways that you can take something that had one job and give it a new job. Those are a few quick, simple, easy ways that in our house we reduce waste and specifically how we reduce waste in the kitchen. If you have any questions or anything that you would like to add, we would love to hear it in the comments. This is a little bit of a soapbox topic for me. We are hippies at heart. <laughs> we are hippies at heart and we are not perfect. We are certainly not perfect at being green and taking care of the planet and doing things to reduce waste and reduce how much we consume and how much we go through. We're not perfect at it, but we're trying. And we're doing little things to try to make a bigger impact. And there's lots of things to be done about that and lots of ways we can do that. And if every person is doing five or 10 little things in their home, in their daily life, to make the world a better place, then it'll very quickly all come together and culminate and make a big difference. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video and you wanna give it a thumbs up, that would be awesome. If you're not subscribed to us, you totally should be. And even if you are subscribed to us, but every week when we post our videos, you're not getting notifications on your phone, you can click the little bell. If you just go to our The Daily Deals YouTube page, there should be a little bell. If you'll click that, that'll make sure that you get notifications for our channel. So as soon as we post a video, you get notified about it. We post on Wednesdays, we post a video like this, which is very topical. We're talking about one specific thing. On Saturdays, I post snippets of everything we've done during the week, even if they don't really fit together. I still will post what's going on during the week, what we're doing during the week. We're so glad that you watch our videos. I hope you liked this one. And let me know what you thought. Uh, I'm really not good at this. <laughs> I wanna look. Okay, now I have to go edit this really fast so I can post it. My light is flashing and I don't know why. Is there a ghost? Hold on. Can't get my hair. either TJ Maxx or Marshalls or what's the other one? TJ 
team, Roth.